Hey everyone, as always, Dylan Miller Prospecting. And we're gonna be doing a pay-to review, but one a little bit different. I had gotten both bags of the Lynch Mining's unsearched five pound bags. They sell a Vulture as well as a Belmont. And I was gonna review them separately, but I figured why not just compare the two together and see what we get. So we're gonna be doing a Belmont versus Vulture Battle Royale. And we're going to see how they come out. So what we're going to do is I'm going to review both of them in the same video. And let me get to their descriptions. Okay, well first, as you can see, one is Belmont, one is Vulture. They're both five-pound bags. And right now, the prices are usually a little bit different. But right now, they're both $20 due to Lynch Mining's Black Friday sale. But they're usually within pennies of each other. Not a big difference in price. And let's get to the description. Both of the descriptions are the exact same minus the area. So I'll just read one to you and substitute the name as I get to it. So it's a five pound bag of unclassified pay dirt. Each bag will contain guaranteed gold. The amount of gold in each bag will vary. The five, this five pound bag is from, and it says either Belmont or Vulture, mountains of Arizona and contains small size flakes, pickers, and maybe even a small nugget. This is an unsearched and unclassified bag. So there you go with those. They, Like I said, they're both five pound bags. They are guaranteed gold, but no specific amounts. So I'm gonna let you listen to some music and I'm gonna classify these both down. And as you can see, they both do come in just regular Ziploc bags. They are not double bag, they're just regular Ziploc bags. All right, now some music and now some classification. finish that one off as you can see I made a giant mess so I'm gonna clean this up put these aside and then I will hit the vulture up and classify it so let you watch that
That took an extremely long time. Now let's compare them. So it looks to me like there was a lot more large material in the vulture mining. As you can see here, there's a little bit more. Not a ton more, but there is some more. And again, in the vulture, it looks like just a little bit more. Or about equal amounts. And then as you can see with these, it's just slightly less than the vulture probably. I just think the vulture had a little bit more plus 10 material and that was about it. But let's see if they have that's magnetic. So in the vulture, whoa, that's a lot. Boy, that is a big hunk of black sand. Let me see. I'm even going to try the minus 20 plus 40. It doesn't have as much, but it does have a little bit. Not too much. But now for the Belmont, this is the minus 40. It doesn't have as much black sand. See, I was really wondering how similar these pay dirts were going to be. But this is, that's it. So the Belmont's got a lot less black sands in it than, you know, the Vulture. So if you're not a fan of black sands, probably the Vulture isn't for you. I mean, there's just a lot of it. And that's a lot of black sands in there. And you can see the two. So definitely, if you're not a fan of black sands, then the Vulture. So now what I'm going to do is try and keep this video as short as possible since I am doing two reviews. I'm going to go pan this all out and come back and show you all the gold I find from both bags. But I am going to keep them all separated if I can remember everything right. All right, be right back. Well, finished panning it all out, and that took forever. It's been a while since I've had to pan out 10 pounds of material. So let's get to what I found. And uh, before I do that, though, I will say it didn't have any organics really in either one. It was clean material as well, so it did not cloud up the water. And they were both pretty equal. The only difference I really noticed between the two of them is besides the classification amounts <clears throat> and the black sands amounts, but while panning was that the vulture seemed to have a little bit more quartz in it. And that was about it. Other than that, they were pretty identical pay dirt, except for the gold, of course. Now let's get to that. So in the plus 10 material, I did find some gold, which really, really surprised me. So this is from the Belmont. The left will be Belmont and the right is from Vulture. So three nice pieces in the Vulture against two in the Belmont. So Belmont is losing right now in the battle. And then we got to the minus 10 plus 20 and found even more gold. So I guess that's five pieces for the Belmont. And what's that? About 10 pieces for the Vulture. So again, the Vulture's winning here. And then we got to the minus 20 plus 40 and even more gold. Now, I'm not going to count these, but as you can see, it's pretty obviously, again, the Vulture is beating the Belmont in this one. It's pretty much a landslide. And then we get to the minus 40 and even more gold, but not much. And actually, no gold in the Belmont. In the Belmont, I did not find one little piece. And I really looked. Once, especially once I got down, I was like, okay, I got to find one piece for panning all this material. But not one. For the Vulture, it's about five, six pieces. You know, not a lot of it. There's a couple little pieces. But at least it was something that we're doing all that work. So let's weigh these all up and see what we get. They're already in boats, so I don't need to let you listen to any music. I just need my... So let's start off with the Belmont. We're just going to do the Belmont right now. So in the plus 10. At 0 0.127. And 128. And then the minus 10 plus 20. I'm going to zoom you in. Give me one second. 0 0.030. And then in the minus 20 plus 40. 
0 0.148. So let's add them all up and see what we get. Zero point three zero five. That's what we get. All right. So let's do. Oh, it's moving. Let's do the vulture pay dirt now. So we'll put this one here. This is the Belmont. And now for the vulture. Oops. Tear this one out. You would think all these little boats would be really close in weight, but they're really not. I, mean, I don't think I've ever found two that were the exact same weight. All right, so the plus 10. 0 0.168. Minus 10 plus 20. 0 0.063 and the minus 20 plus 40 0 0.158 now I'm not going to measure the Minus 40 because that's not going to budge the scale. So let me just pick these up so I can clean up my space a little bit. And let's weigh all this up. So we get the plus 10. Plus 20. There we go, 0 0.3, one second. Zero point three eight something, 0 0.388. Let's call it at that. And of course, as soon as I said that, it moved. I knew it was gonna do that. 0 0.392, I'm calling it, let me go do my ROI and my review, and I'll be right back. All right, finished calculating up my ROI, writing my review, and let's get to it. Both of these were from lynchmining.com. This one was from the Belmont bag, their five pound bag, and this one was from the five pound vulture bag. Now the cost is pretty similar. In fact, right now I think they're both on sale for $20. But I paid slightly more than that. I paid, I did use a 5% coupon code. So, and I always just always use coupons, pay for stuff on sale. It really increases your ROI. I paid $23.94 for this one and $23.79 for this one. Shipping was $15.30 each. So total cost right here, $39.24. Shipping total cost here, $39.09. So 15 cents different. Gold recovered, Belmont, 0 .0, 0 0.308. And gold spot for both of these as of today is, or not as of today, but the day I received them, was $39.63. So gold value right here, $12.21. Over here, gold recovered, 0 0.392. Gold spot, $39.63, which means this pile of gold is worth $15.53. So I essentially made $3.30 more by spending that extra little 15 cents. Actually, it was cheaper. So this one I spent less and got more gold, which is always good. Now ROIs, right here, 31.12%, or on my scale at 3.1%. Over here, 39.73%. Or on my skill, that's a four, just because it's so close to four. Fun factor over here, six. Over here, I'm giving this one a little bit higher. I probably should give it a six as well. But because I did find it in all classifications, there was just a little bit more gold, giving this one a seven. 
Pay their description, they're both getting a six. They both have the exact same description minus one word. One says Vulture, one says Belmont somewhere. Quantity and packaging, they were both over five pounds. I know I forgot to do that in the beginning, but that's because I had so much stuff set up. They did both weigh over five pounds. They were both five pounds, one ounces, both of them, exactly. It was a little bit over, but I think it was pretty much five pounds, one ounces. So they both got a 10 for that. But they both were just single bag, Ziploc bags, six. So total score, Pater quantity and packaging is an eight. For customer service and shipping, I'm giving them a 10 and a 10. So 10 on that on both of them. I've never had a problem with Lynch Mining's customer service or their shipping. I know their shipping can be slow as well as their customer service during sale times, but that pretty much goes for any company. The busier somebody is, the less time they have to deal with customer service and shipping because if they stop to spend five minutes to talk to somebody on the phone, that's five minutes they're not packing up somebody's pay dirt to ship out. So I know some people do have problems. I haven't. I haven't ordered from them from Black Friday for a while now. I try to get it at other sale times when I don't think they'll be as busy. And this time, these pay dirts actually got to me within a week after ordering them. So total scores here. Belmont, five pound, a 6.6. Total score over here for the Vulture five pound bag, a 7.0. Now, neither one of these are great sc scores, but you have to also remember that these are five pound bags. They are unclassified and they're relatively cheap. I will say one thing. If you didn't calculate the shipping in these, if, you know, because if you do, uh, Combined shipping with Lynch Mining, it's still $15.30 because actually a lot of these I purchased were in a combined shipping, but I'm not going to base it off of that because I'm basing it off of what if you purchased them. But if you purchase both of these at the same time, you're still only going to be paying $15.30. So the more stuff you buy, obviously, you know, the better it would be because without shipping, these end up being a 75% ROI. All being said, though, there's still so so scores but it is lynch mining's cheapest product you know so if you want a higher roi you're really going to have to go to their guaranteed gold but for their unsearched ones this is what you get so i'm going to be right back i still need to give away my 24 karat gold plated dime but i'm going to do that after i show up the scores so let me flash up both of these scores Now, before I do the 24 karat gold plated dime giveaway, I do need to do some shout outs to some of my newest Patreon members. And this is a long list, but I'm only gonna do some of them. So I will be spreading these out over the week, but I do appreciate everyone that's joined, has previously joined, everyone. Here's just a couple of the newest members. Roberta Sepper, Konstantinos Hansulis, Michael Carlisle, Matthew Persh, Jamie DeMille, Alan Bolding, Jason Gostinier, and JP. Oh, as well as Kevin Rose Jr. Now, I really apologize if I butchered anyone's last name. I'm just horrible with names. Uh, and I should be better considering everyone's called me Dylan, Dylan, and butchered my first name my whole life. But I do apologize for that. So those are my shout outs. And the 24 karat gold plated dime winner is actually Kevin Rose Jr., who is actually my last Patreon member joining. And I pick these winners usually about a month in advance. I have a long list of them just so if I shoot a video, I can pull the name next. They're all in a chronological order. And Kevin Rose Jr., you were set to pick one for this today. And I guess about an hour ago, you joined my Patreon page. So congratulations. You just won this. So And plus, you're going to get all your, your tier rewards, which you're going to get anyway. So thanks everyone for watching as always and happy panning.